What's going on everybody? I hope you're all well and welcome back to Dragon Age Awakening. So last episode we did investigate a little bit into the Wending Woods. We found out that things aren't quite what they seem here. There was a mass of bandits and it seemed like initially that they had slaughtered the elves and so this elven keeper or first had been slaughtering them back in kind and disrupting the merchant caravans. She mentioned her sister was kidnapped and it seemed like she was kind of holding these roads hostage until the return of her sister. We did find a mass grave up here and a blight survivor and he had mentioned that the darkspawn set all this up now we know the darkspawn are tactical and can think and talk now so it would make sense immediately after that we were ambushed by this little darkspawn patrol and they did have an elven locket on them which would insinuate highly that they're the ones that not only stole her sister but also slaughtered the dalish camp in kind so we are going to head back up there and see if we can talk to her and kind of convince her of what's really going on here Again, it's not so black and white. The people that she has been murdering were sent here to kill her. They weren't just going to push her off these woods by asking politely. So I'm not sure what the punishment would be for what she has done. Certainly not summary execution immediately before we let her speak for herself. So that's not going to be happening. But beyond that, I'm not sure what I would do with her. Why are you still here? I told you to stay away from me! I warned you! This place is not for you! The humans did not kidnap your sister. I know a human crime when I see it. I've experienced more than enough of them. You will pay for repeating their lies. If you would just listen for a second, we could clear all this up very quickly. Again, I understand her perspective. You don't always think clearly, especially not when siblings are at stake, right? Her sister is gone. That's all she knows, and all rightly so. All she cares about is that she wants the return of her sister. She found literal humans, weapons, and blood at the campsite. I understand why she thinks the way that she thinks. She's not being unreasonable. She just needs to be convinced. I would suspect many of us might do something similar if our sibling, significant other, was being held like this, so... I'm not going to hold it against her too harshly. But she's being a little dramatic. There's a lot of stake here for her, so of course. She's not just going to take our word for it when she just met us. There's no idea who we are. She's probably like, who the hell is this Shem? Especially when you think about the way elves look at humans as default. The kind of this warlike race that are children. Does it mean... I believe it means child. The slur itself means child or young one, essentially. But kind of like patting us on the top of the head and being like, there, there, you grow up one day is what Shemlin means. <laughs> just a more derogatory in context. But she wouldn't just take our word just because we said it. We're going to have to prove it to her. I mean, her sister is gone. That's a fact. So she's going to need something more tangible than no, but listen. <laughs> I suspect once we show her her locket, she might... Take our word for it a little better. At least one would hope. But she's going to take some convincing, but... It's worth doing, and if we can help her get her sister back, we certainly will. I am on the market for more warden recruits. A strong Dalish mage would certainly cut the cake. You, you will never take me alive. I'm not going to kill you. I will not go with you to some Shemlin magistrate. I won't bow to their rules. I just wish to talk. <laughs> talk. The humans are not to blame for what happened here. You expect me to believe that? What of the weapons? Or my sister's disappearance? The weapons here were planted by the Darkspawn. I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn... Planted them? That would mean the dark spawn killed my people and took my sister. I found this trinket on a dark spawn. That is Serenis. She would never willingly part with that. Our mother gave it to her before she died. Why would the dark spawn do this? They make females into brood mothers. Are you saying Serani will become one of them? I will not allow that. Let me help. You? You want to find Serani? Why? 
Hopefully I'm a grey warden and I don't walk away from injustice lightly. No one deserves to suffer at the hands of the Darkspawn. Great, another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. I actually believe My it's exactly what we need. If you care for such things. Do you know where the dark spawn might dwell? Tunnels, most likely. There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the dark spawn there. That sounds like a prime candidate. Now, of course, we do have Valena in our party, so we're gonna go with Agrin and Anders, and now we finally are back with the double mage combo. It is a beautiful side. Now, Ogren's going to disapprove because we took Valena, but he'll get over it. We'll just throw him a brandy. <laughs> Much as I hate enabling his alcoholism, it is what it is. Now, 60 magic for Anders, 47 willpower. We'll keep on going down the line for blood magic. We'll give you blood sacrifice. Now, of course, we're not going to put any of that in his tactics just yet. Now, for specializations for her, she already has... Keeper, so we are of course just going to give her Blood Mage and Spirit Healer. She has 60 magic, 21 constitution, and 48 willpower. That's a pretty good spread. She's level 31. Now what do we have down here? Of course you have 8 tactic points, so we are going to suck up all your max mana. We're going to give you maxed out tactics, and then we'll work on your health. We don't need to give you runecrafting because Anders has that. Now, we need to go all the way down here and make sure she has all the things we need her to have. You already have heal, which is good. Do we want to have double mana clash opportunity? We for sure want max paralysis. She has all the hexes, so that's very good. We don't want death clouds, too much friendly fire. We'll give you maxed out blood magic. Give you maxed out mage staff. We don't need her to have all the Keeper abilities, but we'll give her this much. I don't think we'll need Mana Clash, but it might be... It might be... Hmm. You know, let's give her Mana Clash. Let's just do it. If Anders is ever on cooldown, she can do it for us, and that'll be a beautiful thing to behold. So, that being said, I'm going to dip into her tactics briefly. I'll cut the video and catch you when I figure out what I'm going to do here with her. Alrighty, that takes care of her tactics, and we did clear up some inventory space, and so now we are very ready to press on. Here's an ogre. So, let's welcome Belena to the party. He's gonna drop a fireball right there. Anders is gonna paralyze specifically this asshole. He's gonna paralyze the ogre. Agrin, you're gonna move into the ogre, and I am also gonna move into the ogre. Let's see how this all works out. We did this line a lot of things up here. He's paralyzed. The fireball did disrupt the back line. She's going to cast Winter's Grasp. My mages are just going to chop all kinds of wood while they're back there. They'll take care of you. Now, while we're sitting on the Ogre, there is an emissary back here. So, Mana Clash. They're going to drop a Mana Clash right there. And well, since you don't have much to do, you're going to do a Mass Paralysis while we take care of this. See all kinds of fun drop off down here. There's the emissary. And there's the mass paralysis. No escape for the gen locks. And off goes his head. Beautiful. And that is a brief little demonstration of why I love double mage comps. Love having two mages in the party. It is very, very strong. Right, now we did of course get the granite deposit. We'll drop a save before we head into these mines. I'm wondering if it's maybe worth giving Valena some gifts before we head in here. We will give her one specifically because I know that we have something for her, which is of course her elven trinket. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. Of course. Where did you find this? This belonged to Serrani. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, that belongs to you. You can give it back to your sister yourself when we find her. Right now, Silver Eye Mine. Let's head on in. Now, given the name of the mine, we can expect to be looking out for some silver eye ore in here for Master Wade to make for our Vigil's Keep army. Would love to see that militia that we're building up in there and full silver eye. I'm sure he'd be happy to work with it too. But he'd complain a lot less.
if you notice, that dwarf that he has right there is a warden. The architect, I assume. We just happened to walk into a glyph of paralysis. How easy it was for him to do that to us definitely doesn't so bode well. Commander of the Grey Wardens, do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. Rest. I don't know what the hell you are, but it's not going to end well for you, I assure you. done anything. I'm fine, Velana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. She doesn't right. look fine. Let me out and I'll take you home. The dark spawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. Please tell me what's going on. You must know something. I don't know anything. But take this key. It opens a chest in the emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. Wait, how did you get this? I, I... I found it. They're coming! You have to go! Find a way out of the mines! Please! I can't just leave you! Sarani! Wait! Well, thankfully, mages don't require staff, so... Let's get started. She should be okay. There is a slight concern here with my party, however. Right, Ogren, at this point, you're just gonna have to do what you can. It's gonna from prison riot these darkspawn. <laughs> Alright, darkspawn greatsword and some leather things. Leather armor, holding silky, darkspawn dagger, darkspawn longsword. Right, so let's start equipping some of this. They didn't steal all of my inventory, just parts of it, it seems. Just the things we had equipped. So, Argrin, given that they decided not to leech my inventory, you're going to go back to the Legion setup for a little while. Bronca Shield. The Winter's Blade. Kalak. Let's give you Kalak. You can use that for a while. Now, Valena. We are going to get you your staff back, but in the meantime, we will give you Staff of Vigor. Anders, same thing goes for you. You will eventually get your thing back, but you can have Winter's Breath for now. Now, we have a big problem here, given that we literally have... <laughs> Nothing. So let's just give you what we can give you. We kept gloves, thankfully. Dead tag Shanka, and I suppose the next option is going to be the Darkspawn dagger. We don't really have a choice. All right. Activate momentum. This should be easy enough. Let's head on out on our journey to find our stuff. Dwarf corpse. As you can see, it looks like he died to the taint rather than any specific thing. Which no doubt is going to be Valena's sister's As you wish. fate too, Sarani. She didn't look like she was holding up well. She said she was fine, but her eyes were starting to glaze over. She was definitely not fine. Ratchet stone, lyrium dust, we'll take it. Now, I see enemies this way. Interested in this barrier door. Yeah, we can't touch that yet. And these darkspawn came from this direction, so. Those stars. Let's see what's up here. Lots of things up here, right. Some books. 
Black Tree is a history written in blood. That'll be a good gift. I assume Anders is the one that's interested in that. Now, oh, chest for the Dark's One Battle Axe. Journal page. Architect's journal. We're going to have a lot of things to read after this episode. Architect's notes. Now, we have an experiment control. An experiment control. It seems like we're into another puzzle here. Alright, now as I recall, the answer to this is quite simple. I believe it's literally just as simple as pulling these levers in left, right, left, right order. I remember correctly. Indeed, that gets rid of all the poison. Now I think we can go down and hit that door that had the barrier on it. I think that removed the barrier as well as the poison. Let's go check that out. Indeed. This is the first time I've seen my character walking around barefoot like this. <laughs> Even back in Fort Drake and we got our things back quite quickly. We have a black blade tunic here. Rube, 12 Sovereigns, and Dragon Spy. Right. I'll actually go ahead and equip those. Black Blade Tunic looks quite nice. Now if we do this, go to our side. We can equip Dragon Spy as our secondary slot. Beautiful looking bow, as you can see. Looks very, very beautiful. And I'll go ahead and switch that back. Get the daggers back out. A lot of dead people down here. I want you to keep all these bodies and experiments and things in these prison cells in mind. I want you to keep all this in your mind as we progress through this story. Because there's going to be a choice at the end. And a lot of what I'm seeing here is going to play a part in my final decision. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people have their opinions on how this DLC should end. But ultimately, there's a lot of things going on down here that is going to prove what I think at least this is going to prove my point. This contraption will allow us to quickly dispatch those dark stars. Come on, there's no time to lose. It's going to take care of almost all of those. Just knock the statue on their heads. It's about time we were the ones hitting them with ballistas, right? <laughs> Justice for all the times in Origins, the dark spawn hit us with ballistas from the back line. Only one that survived was the Alpha, but he's going to have a very bad day now. A very bad day. I'm surprised he made it out of the stun, to be honest, but it's not gonna matter. As you wish. And here we have a Grey Warden helmet that he managed to steal from somebody. Large Darkspawn shield, Darkspawn war axe, and three sovereigns. I'm gonna be looting all these Darkspawn as we progress through this because he did mention a lot of these dark spawns stole our gear and we could get it back if we killed them so we're going to be on the lookout for that is there an emissary that is so anders you're already doing mass paralysis so that's fine but lena you're going to be the one to hit mana clash it's not actually that has the guy included that takes care of him he's already popping mass paralysis augurin Jorgen Thorn. Warcry, knock him back towards his paralyzed friends. Now we're just going to rain hell on the line. Beautiful party composition. Now I've said it multiple times at this point, but I love when everything just works like that. It is so satisfying to have yourself a build and a comp where everybody just works together like that. So Anders is casting the mass paralysis, she nukes the mage, then Ogren goes forward and taunts the line, everybody's paralyzed and stunned, and we just chop them down piece by piece with nobody being able to do anything. Hey, that's mine! That thing has my things! It's got its sallow, clammy hands all over my doodads, touching my junk. Now, no one touches Ogren's junk. As you can ever. see, that's a blighted dwarf, clearly dying from the taint, and it has all of Ogren's gear. Now, I don't know if this darkspawn is trying to clone our party for 
some nefarious reason. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. What I do know is that he's not going to get away with it, though. This thing is dead. Argon will be getting all his things back. And these crafty little dragonlings are not slick. They're not as slick as they think they are, at least. So we're going to pull my mage line up. I'm going to stun him. Argon, you're going to taunt. You are going to start cooking this mass paralysis right now, because by the time you get it off, these dragonlings are probably going to be here. Valena, you're going to keep casting your line, and then you're going to walk on up here. Now, we'll see how this goes. Depending on how this plays out, is depending on what we'll do next. Okay, he did get the mass paralysis off. Beautiful. So, Valena, what you are going to do, is I do see one of them didn't get caught here, so you're going to paralyze that one specifically. Now... I need to get some of these people dead because this is going to get out of hand very quickly when the mass paralysis wears off. She's already casting mass paralysis too, so that's going to re-enable all that. Give us a little bit more time. Okay, we got control. We're fine. Very good. Right, Augur. You have your stuff back now. One for the ditch. <laughs> Take all that back. Now, I wish you could just immediately re-equip all this. Of course, it's not going to let us do that. So, we are going to have to go through and re-equip all this stuff that he had on. Right. Now, the Ogren's gear back. We are going to drop a save. And we're going to progress through the rest of these mines. We do need to find my gear, Valena's gear, and Anders' gear. They have a lot of high-grade rare things on them. So, we certainly... Can't leave here without it. Which you totally can do, by the way. If you miss one of these things that are holding your stuff, you will absolutely never get it back, so pay attention. This should be easy enough. Don't go wandering out of here without getting your things back. Enon. This is also a warden. What are you doing here? Why is a grey warden down here abandoning these mines? You're the Warden Commander. I would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? You know me. I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead or worse. So this, this fa section of Darkspawn are the ones that attacked Vigil's Keep. It's not the crazy Mother's Darkspawn, it's the Architect's Darkspawn are the ones that raided Vigil's Keep. And they clearly don't have good intentions. This Warden is down here crippled. There's other test subjects and experiments going on with other things down here. This is a bad place. What are the Darkspawn doing? I'm not sure. The emissary who leads them is more cunning than any Darkspawn I've encountered. He's fascinated with Wardens. But listen... There is a darkspawn here carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died trying to make this world better. I swear to you, it will be done. You wanted to make the world a better place? What an insipid line. Is that really supposed to make her feel better about his death? Maybe you could use your internal voice, Felina. <laughs> She'll know that he didn't die in vain. Humans. Thank you, Commander. I make her turn his gaze on you. He's a grouchy one, isn't she? Of course we are going to fulfill this Warden's last wishes. You can assume that if he was asking us to take the ring back, there was no way of getting him back to his wife. I trust a Warden's judgment if he doesn't think he's going to make it out alive. I'm sure he won't. Wardens aren't the type to squeal and get dramatic in moments like this, so... He will absolutely take his ring to his wife. Now, that would be Valena's as subject. Both my mages are way too far back for this. Right. Anders. Mana Clash. Valena. You're going to do a mass paralysis. Augur and you're going to taunt these men off me. And I'm going to dual sweep them before they run away to his taunt. Have 
there's the mass paralysis we wanted. Get this gen lock with a whirlwind. Now we are looking for a big dark spawn with a hammer who took his wedding ring. Stun up this alpha, he's not gonna be going anywhere. Perfect, that's the end. Alright, Belena. In the interest of us knowing what we pick up from this person, what to put on Belena, I am gonna go through and make sure nothing is highlighted. That way we just re equip the things that are highlighted when we pick it up. And that's Belena's equipment all back up in our inventory. Let's get started. Just have me and Anders to go. As you wish. Right. As well as finding this guy with the big hammer. Definitely interested in smoking him. They have a Templar down here too. Or night. This is the spyglass. We know who wants this. That's for Sigrun. She already gave us a speech back in Vigil's Keep about how she's fascinated by those. Wants to look in through one of them before her time is done. We'll definitely make that happen for her. And again, these Darkspawn, as they can claim to be as enlightened and not wishing ill for us as much as they want, and yet there's hanging humans here with pickaxes buried in their chest. So the em the emissary, or the architect, or whatever he calls himself, he can play it off all he wants, but at the end of the day, there's wardens being tortured to death in here, and there are humans strung up by their necks with pickaxes buried in their chests, and everything else that's going on in here. He's full of it. There's no enlightenment here. Darkspawn, a darkspawn. That takes care of that elemental subject, or experimental subject, rather. He's, he's just full of it. These darkspawn aren't enlightened. They're not safe. They're not anything special. They're the same as the rest of them. And so they'll be dealt with like the rest of them. If they're going to string up humans and torture wardens and do whatever they're doing. Frame humans for the murder of elves so that they fight each other and slaughter each other. They're clearly not... Like, where is the enlightenment here? He's going to sit there and tell us he doesn't wish us any harm while torturing people from our order to death. He clearly didn't just want to talk. Otherwise, he wouldn't have nuked us the way that he did. Is the paralysis on us and locked us in a torture chamber? No. I think not. That's not going to be how that goes down. Now, Anders, we finally got your stuff back. Of course, my stuff is the stuff we get last. Now, let's make sure that none of this is highlighted so we know exactly what we're doing for you. Beautiful. And that's Anders squared up. Now, I already see the red here, so we are going to go this way first. This is back to the Wending Wood. Still yet to find the guy with the big hammer. Darkspawn Necromancer. Okay, so before we hit the Necromancer, because I think that's the correct way, let's go the wrong way first. Make sure we get these tunnels cleared beforehand. Another Lyrium deposit. If you must be on it, so close, Dwarf, I prefer that you turn your head. Well, oh, sorry for looking. I can't help that your womanly splendor is at eye level. <laughs> I was referring to your... Oh, you weren't talking about... <laughs> what were you talking about? Your breath, Dwarf. He is the one with the massive hammer. This is the one that broke out Warden Friend's legs. Right, she's already casting weakness. You're going to hit a mass paralysis. Ogren, you're going to run in. You need to run in right now. On that. She's already casting her vulnerability hex, so I am going to swing around. Got that wood. Hit him with a Punisher. The whirlwind since we are surrounded. That's the Tamer dead. Let's, make this quick, shall we? Let's finally see what Pim Pim Blades is about. Seems pretty effective. Instantly killed the dragon though. One more back here, down by the egg. Now, I'm very glad we're not going to be letting these darkspawn raise dragons. I don't even want to know what blighted thing would have come out of all this. Can you imagine? They have, like, a blighted dragon army here full of blighted drakes and dragonlings. 
No, thank you. Now, we have dragon scales, but I'm not sure what we would even use them for inside this expansion. Here's Keenan's wedding ring, leg crusher. I'll touch him. He named it after a sick, twisted little game. All right. That takes care of most of these mines. Yeah, no thank you on the Darkspawn having a dragon army. Let's not do that. We'll take the egg, kill everything in here, and go on our merry way. This Necromancer is for sure going to be a mage, so we're just going to nuke him immediately with all of our anti-mage spells. All right. Take him on a clash. Hit him with it. And he died. He did get hit by the Mana Clash. It just took a second. Right, he's already taunting, so no need to worry about that. Beautiful. Certainly will not be playing games with any Darkspawn Necromancers. And again, look how enlightened they are. Human heads on pikes. Hanging everywhere in the mines. They've just been dragging humans down here and hanging them. They are not enlightened. They're not reformed. They're still darkspawn. They can just talk. I don't care how much any of them decide to fluff it up. He doesn't wish us harm, but he wishes... What, everyone else in the human race, huh? Nah, I don't buy it. I'm not buying anything from his briefcase. Now what did the Necro have? Just a health pothos? More Drake scales. Still waiting on finding the experiment subject that has my things. On it. More Darkspawn shield. My game is starting to run very rough, as you can see, so I'm gonna panic save here. Before I lose the last 30 minutes or so of progress. Private documents and an elemental trap plan. Should be easy enough. Darkspawn longsword. On it. Ring of discipline. That's 15 willpower. That's actually a great ring. Less than chances cow. All those things are great. We're certainly going to be using those on one of our companions. Okay, that's locked. Have a letter here. As you wish. A letter from the architect. We're definitely going to be dropping a codex episode after this. Lots of things to read. I'm actually pretty behind on codexes, I believe. Right. Now, where are my things? It seems like we're out of the mines, and I did not get any of my stuff back. My things aren't with me. They're not here. And I don't know what happened to them, so I want them back. You are not supposed to be here. You are a canary. Neither are you. You are wrong. I have an arrangement with the creatures. I bring them supplies. They give me gold. Would you consent to trading at Vigil's Keep? Vigil's Keep? Hmm. That is the Grey Warden's Keep near Amaranthine. Yes, I know it. If there is coin to be had, Armas will be there. We will meet again, if you survive this place. Do you know what's going on? All I care is that the Darkspawn honor our arrangement. Questioning them would be inadvisable. Oh, very canary of you. Will you trade supplies at a discount? Actually, before we head to any of that, why would the canary work with the Darkspawn? The coon is a lie. I am Tal Vashaw, outcast. My life is my own. I do not help the Darkspawn. I help myself. And you are going to be... In a very bad place if you catch the corruption. What if the Darkspawn corruption affects you? It will not. I have been promised protection. Right. Why would they promise that? I provide a service. Hmm. Will you trade supplies at a discount? Very well. See that you are in a bit of trouble and I am not heartless. 
But if you truly wish my help, I would suggest you escape this place as soon as you can. Indeed. Right, let's clean up some of our inventory here. We have a lot of things on us that we don't need to be packing right now. Okay, now I'm a little concerned that I never found my items. I'm not liking that, so let's go ahead and look at the map. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss any offshoots anywhere? Doesn't look like I did. Right, so given that that's the way it's going to be with my gear, I suppose we're going to wrap things up here. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. If you want to support the cause and help improve the channel, as always, there is a tip link in the description below. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon with more Dragon Age Awakening. Have a good day, everyone. Take care.